Well, let's see. Well, the first thing we can see right away is that we can factor the y square. So we factor it out because y square will go with the coefficient 24, negative 42, and uh, coefficient positive 9. Is there anything else that we can factor? Well, let's check to see if we can factor the coefficient. And of course, we cannot factor the x because coefficient 24 has the x square, coefficient negative 42 has the x, but not the coefficient 9. Can we factor out any thing from out of the uh, three coefficients? Well, looking at the smallest coefficient, positive 9, positive 9 is a factor of itself, but not of negative 42 and 24. So we cannot just factor out negative, uh, not negative 9, positive 9. But is there any largest possible common multiplicative factor of all three of these coefficients? Well, what if I were to say 24 is the same as 3 times 8, 42 is the same as 3 times negative 14, and what if I were to say positive 9 is the same as 3 times 3? Well, hey, guess what? We have the largest common factor of 3, so we bring it out, 3y squared. Factoring out 3y squared from each of these terms, the leftover for the first term is going to be 8 times x squared. And yeah, just 8 times x squared. For the second term, the leftover is going to be negative 14 times x. So that's minus 14x. For the last term, the leftover is just going to be 3. Oh, hey, we have the standard form quadratic expression that we uh, can work with more easily. So setting up the x method, the top number is going to be the product of the leading coefficient and the constant. So that's 8 times 3, which is 24. Negative 14, go at the bottom. So we want two numbers that multiply together to give us back 24, but also add it together to give us back negative 14. Well, that's easy to tell because what if we have negative 12 and negative 2? Well, negative 12 times negative 2 is positive 24. Negative 12 plus negative 2 is negative 14. So, hey, we come up with two numbers on the side. So, this expression can be rewritten as 3y squared multiply. I'm going to put the bracket. Easier to see. Um, keeping 8 x square plus negative 12 x and then plus negative 2 times x and then uh, oops plus keep the plus 3 now with four terms Continue factoring, but now by grouping. Well, let's see, for the first binomial, can we factor out anything? Well, if I were to say, well, I mean, for sure, the first thing we can factor out is the x, because coefficient 8 has x squared, coefficient negative 12 has x, so factor out the one with the lowest exponent. So we factor out the x. Well, can we factor out anything from the two coefficients? In this case, we can. Well, if we were to rewrite 8 into 2 times 2 times 2, all prime number factors, and we were to rewrite negative 12 into negative 1 times 2 times 2 times 3, which are also all prime numbers. Well, hey, guess what? We have the common 2 times 2. in two list of prime number factors that we can factor out. So factoring out two times two, which is four, we actually factor out the four x from both of these terms. So factoring out the x and factoring out the two times two, we're left with just two times x. For the first term, that's two x left over the first term after we factor out 
uh, 4x. Well, but what about the second term? Well, the second term, we're left with just negative 1 times positive 3, which is just minus 3. And then, of course, we bring down We bring down the plus negative 2x plus 3. Okay. So we got 3y squared times 4x times 2x minus 3 plus negative 2x plus 3. So this step right here, just I get rid of the parentheses around the negative 2. Now, we cannot just go ahead and, and say, oh, let's factor out 2x minus 3. That's going to be illegal because we have negative 2x plus 3 here. So we got a positive 2x but a minus 2x. And of course, same thing for here, having negative 3, but over here we got the plus 3. So how can we <coughs> um, somehow convert one of these two binomials into uh, two identical things. Well, looking at the second one, if we factor out the negative one from the second binomial, if we factor out the negative one from the second binomial, we would be left with positive 2x and then minus 3. So usually, the idea is that every time when you see something that are very similar to each other, with the only difference of being uh, the signs of each of the term, you know, in here we got positive 2x, but then over here we got negative 2x, over here we got negative 3, over here we got positive 3. We can make the two very similar items to look exactly the same by factoring out the negative one from one of those two items, okay? So in this case, I pick the second binomial and I factor out the negative one, which turns out to be the product of negative one and another 2x minus three. But hey, guess what? We got identical um, term right there, so we just had to factor it out. So keeping the 3y square, factoring out the 2x minus 3, we're left with just 4x uh, plus negative 1, so that's basically 4x minus 1. And this is the factor form of this.